The story starts back in the 60s and 70s, when thousands of children with growth disorders were injected with human growth hormone made from human pituitary glands. That stopped in 1985, once scientists realized the hormone was contaminated with a human protein that causes a deadly brain-wasting disease called CJD. So far, more than 200 of those injected have died from that disease. Right. Um, do we have any and now scientists are reporting that six of those victims also had some early signs of Alzheimer's in their brain tissue. This is simply an observational study in patients. Uh, we're simply describing what we've seen. In the journal Nature, the scientists report their theory that the old human growth hormone made from thousands of human cadavers was contaminated with the Alzheimer's protein. And this is the first evidence of Alzheimer's being transmitted between humans, something that has also been shown in animals. But this does not mean people can catch Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease is not a contagious disease. You can't catch it uh, from, a, from a patient uh, with the disease. It just applies to this very specific uh, circumstance. In Montreal, this doctor used to inject children with that growth hormone back in the early 80s. In terms of saying, well, uh, could someone treated with growth hormone 30 years ago develop uh, Alzheimer's now? It's possible, but extremely unlikely. The finding raises questions about the risk of transmitting Alzheimer's in other ways, through surgical tools or other human tissue transplants. I think that we're going to have to rethink how we do uh, the screening for uh, probably all organs, um, as well as uh, surgical instruments. The scientists insist that any risk of transmission is purely theoretical at this point. But the finding is important in the overall effort to understand and ultimately treat this disease. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.